everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's episode, I figured we would start with the enemies and having a kind of jump on top of them to kill them, unless they are like spiked at the top, then we will have to spin and kill them. And I'll show you one way to do the jump on top kill and to delete the enemy, as well as if the enemy hits the player, then the player will take damage. So let's just jump into it. So first thing that you're going to have to do is create a empty uh, 3D object, a cube, like I have here, and just readjust it. The height right now is pretty high, so if the character goes to jump, he's going to have a hard time jumping on it. I would like to add a double jump, but the turtles are going to be about that size, so just scale this down a little bit to whatever height you want. And same, if it's a if it's a bug or something, it's going to be flying up. But uh, for now, we're just going to do like the turtles on the beach. Next, we're going to have to make a couple uh, duplicates of the turtle here. So let's just go duplicate, duplicate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these two inside of the one cube here and make this cube its parent. I'm then going to rename this uh, top and this one bottom. And then we can name this turtle. And I'll name it three because I do have uh, two turtles here. So we do have a top and we do have a bottom. Uh, so we're going to turn the mesh render for both of these off so that it's just the collider. And then I'm just going to scale the top one I'm just going to move it up a little bit so it's above uh, and I'm going to rescale it down oops, to about there and just move it up. And then also let's just scale it in a little bit more because if the player runs into it how it is right now, uh, it will activate the destroy the object which we don't want. So we're just going to resize it just a little bit, uh, something like that right there and just make sure that it's just inside. So let's take the bottom and let's just resize it out a bit, not too much, uh, just about there. And let's move it here and let's move this down. Actually, let's scale it up just a hair bit to about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our damage script that we had created on the spikes there and we're just going to drag this onto the bottom here and we're going to put 50 for the, oh, not 500, 150. So, and then on the top here, we're gonna actually, okay, first let's make these triggers. I forgot to do that, triggers, triggers. So on the top here, we're gonna create another script and we're gonna call it smacked. So there's a right click, go create, C sharp, and create that script. And let's go into this script and show you guys what it's all going to entail. So it's going to be called smacked, nothing in the void start, nothing in the void update, and we're going to make a private void on trigger enter collider other if other dot name equals player. So the player, the uh, character that we have here has the tag uh, player. So for each transform child in transform, so that's why we have them as the childs, uh, then uh, child dot game object dot set active false and the reason why we're doing this is uh, whenever the player hits this object we want the damage one the damage uh, let's go down here the bottom one to stop working so that uh, if you have an animation that plays like a die animation it flipped over and the player lands back on it he's not going to take damage again from it it's going to stop the damage script from working so then we have uh, destroy transform dot parent dot game object. So it's going to destroy the parent, which will destroy everything. And we have it as two seconds. So that way we can actually play an animation, which I don't have. So if you have an animation, go get component animation dot play, uh, put your animation in there, or you can do game object dot get component animation and then whichever animation and play. Or you can make a game object up here drag and drop the animation into it and then play it through there through the uh, game object itself uh, which we might do later on but uh, for now we'll stick with these two and if you don't want no time just get rid of this code right here and uh, 
you won't have any death. They'll instantly just be destroyed, which I don't want. I want uh, it to have some time. And that's all you need to do to actually create a turtle with a damage script on it. So when we actually hit play now, oh, let me uh, attach it first. So go to the top here and then attach the smacked script to it. And then one last thing, just take the bottom here and put it into the top. So this is going to be the child of the top. So when the top gets hit, it's going to set the bottom as false is what it's going to do. So let's go in and check this out. So if I hit it, if the turtle touches us, we're going to take damage. If I hit it at the top, it's going to play the animation, flip the turtle over, and then it's going to be destroyed. So we have it set as two seconds, so hopefully I can do this in time. If I hit it and then I run into it, it's, uh, we're not going to take any damage because we set that bottom, the damage script, as false. So it's not going to uh, give the player any damage. So if the turtle flips over or anything, we're safe. Unless you want it to, then just get rid of this amount of code. And that's all you need to do for uh, to make an enemy. And then just animate the turtle or whatever model you have uh, to go back and forth. And then I do have the trees here. I want to put rocks and I want to kind of corral the player into this section where there's going to be enemies. You can do flying bees or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'll animate these later on so that we got some cubes as placeholders where the enemies are going to go back and forth. And that's how simple it is to actually make it where you can jump on top, hit the enemy, delete the enemy, not take damage, uh, add animations for when they die. Uh, it's that simple. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment down below and get see you around. Yeah.